Welcome to another edition of Adams Cable Channel 7 High School Basketball featuring Lackawanna League Division 3 boys action between local rivals, the Lakeland Chiefs, and the Carbondale Area Chargers. Brought to you by Adams Cable Service. By your Napa Auto Parts store, Tonkin Auto Supply, Carbondale. Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, Carbondale. Veston's Auto Body and Collision Center, Carbondale. By Main Street Sunoco, Carbondale. Figlomini Drugstore, Carbondale. Locally owned and trusted since 1929. McGovern Insurance Agency, Carbondale. By Tom's Floor Shop, Main Street Childs. Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Homes with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, Carbondale. Nick's Excavating and Construction, Carbondale. Your starting lineups are brought to you by Roselle Department Store, Carbondale. It's time for the tip-off of Adams Cable High School Basketball at the Peteronis Gym as the Lakeland Chiefs take on the Carbondale Area Chargers. Courtside with the call of today's game, here's Glenn Muskowski and Steve Young. Guys! The beautiful voice of D.C. Day leads us into Lackawanna League Division III Boys High School Basketball featuring the Chiefs of Lakeland and the Carbondale Area Chargers. Alongside Glenn Muskowski and Nick Homick, I'm Steve Young. Glad you're with us for high school basketball here on this Saturday afternoon. Another matinee game. You've got to love it as Lakeland overall at seven wins and 12 losses, no wins and three losses in Division III, will take on the Chargers of Carbondale area. Also overall at seven wins and 12 losses here in second half action in Division III with a record of one win and two losses. It is senior recognition day for the Carbondale area Chargers and the senior players on the uh, basketball team will recognize Michael Farrell, Joe Gelati, Bailey Hughes, and Tom Owens along with senior members of the cheerleading squad and now it's time for basketball Glenn as we feature Lakeland and Carbondale. A good matchup to see both have seven and twelve records overall and you would think uh, with the kind of rivalry that Lakeland and Carbondale have had not just in basketball but through, through the whole since the jointures came about you would expect a nice game here tonight uh, this afternoon I, uh, I should say and uh, it, it should be an up kind of an up tempo game I think uh, Lakeland's going to try to put a little pressure on Carbondale, and Carbondale's going to try to run the floor, get some easy buckets against Lakeland, so it should, we should be in for a good one. The Lakeland Chiefs overall last year were 18-10. and 10. They lost in the uh, first half by playoff game to Montrose in that Division Three matchup, 58-50. to 50. Uh, They uh, won the overall title last year over Montrose for the Division Three championship, 59-48. And uh, here this year in Division Three, a lot of tough competition. Uh, you've got uh, Mid Valley, you've got Holy Cross, Dunmore, so it's a whole different ball game in that Division Three tough division this year. And uh, talking with Dave Rosenkrantz, he said they have played Mid Valley four times this year, so that's really tough when you get into the tournaments and of course uh, in league play. So uh, Division Three, very very tough. It is. It is a very very difficult uh, division to play because uh, you, you are when you're when you play in the uh, Toronis tournament. And then you you play in another tournament up in I believe Lakeland plays up in the Lackawanna Trail tournament if I'm not mistaken. But you get to see the same people over and over. So you basically you know what they do. Now you have to adjust to see what you can do to to, to either defend them or to get a to get the upper hand on the offensive end. And in the first half of league play this year at Lakeland, the Chiefs posted a five-point win over the Chargers, 65-60. to And in the junior varsity contest here that just got over about 10 minutes ago, it was Lakeland defeating Carbondale by the score of 56-30. to We will go to a break, and when we return, Glenn Muskowski will have a chat with Lakeland head coach Dave Rosencrantz here on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Everyone is looking for ways to save money today. The Total Home Packages from Adams Cable Service are a great way to do just that. Starting at $69.99 per month, you can get cable, high-speed internet, and unlimited phone service. You're probably paying that much just for one service right now. Call Adams Cable Service today and ask about the Total Home Packages. Cable, internet, and phones starting at only $69.99 per month. Adams Cable Service has a package to meet your needs, and it's the smartest way to save money. Call Adams today. Napa Know How. Napa Know How. 
Looking for great prices and special offers on top quality parts and accessories? You'll find them at Napa Auto Parts. Visit Tonkin Auto Supply in Carbondale for great savings while supplies last. Only at Napa. Stop in and see Glenn, Garth, and the staff at Tonkin Auto Supply in Carbondale, your know-how folks. Napa know-how. Napa know-how. Napa know-how. Napa know-how. Keep your vehicle running safe and efficiently with complete automotive care by Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, Brooklyn Street, Carbondale. You can rely on Jerry's for minor repairs, wheel alignment, Pennsylvania safety inspection and emissions testing, brake service, oil changes, computer diagnostics, and brand name tires for a smooth ride. Stop in and see Jerry, call 282 Tire, or visit their website, Jerry's Tire at gmail.com. Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, Brooklyn Street, Carbondale. Now, 12 2013 seasons and up and down season, coach. You're struggling some games, and the other games, your team seems to be clicking on all cylinders. Can you comment on, on this uh, way of play? I think our biggest thing that when we struggle on defense and don't play defense, that's when we've been struggling, you know, with our up and down. If we play defense, you know, there's not a team we really can't play uh, with. The other day I was telling Landon, we ended up uh, only losing to Mid Valley by seven points. And it was a two-point game in the fourth quarter because we actually, like, played some defense. I think, you know, that was the big key. And these guys last year bought into, you know, defense really is helping us. This year we've been hit or miss with our games on how we play it. And, you know, playing zones good some games and playing man good, other, you know, other games. So that's a big thing. We're just inconsistent on defense this year. And uh, usually good defense leads to easy baskets. It makes it a lot easier for you on the offensive yeah, end. Yeah, and, and you know what? One of our things that we've been trying to even tell Kyle Kehar too, is that, you know, this year, it, you know, teams know that he's very good. And, you know, we've been trying to get him to play a little better defense so that, you know, he can kind of create some shots for himself. So, and, and he's been, some games he's been really good at, and other games, like I said, we've been just struggling defensively, so. This will be the third time you're, you'll play Carbondale area this year. I'm sure both teams scouted each other and know enough about what each team does. Uh, with that in mind, what must you do to, as the, for the Chiefs to take charge in this game this afternoon? You know, our, our big thing with playing Carbonell and usually any other team is that, you know, we like to play upbeat, you know, get a good press going right off the bat. And I think that's important versus Carbonell. I know last time I think we had about 19 steals versus Carbonell. So we we're going to try to play up, you know, an up-tempo game and get them playing our game a little bit. So, Okay, Coach. Uh, Thank you, and good luck this afternoon. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Thank you. And a little bit earlier, Glenn Muskowski had the opportunity to talk with Carbondale area head coach Landon Gabriel on his thoughts on today's game. We are here with Landon Gabriel, head coach of the Carbondale area Chargers. Coach, in your last two wins against Old Forge and also against Forest City, you had a lackluster, or for lack of a better word, a lousy first half. But in the third quarter, you came out and totally took over the game. Can you give us an idea of what you said to the team as you were as you were in there at halftime with them? I honestly, I think you'd be surprised. I didn't really say too much at halftime. I just went and I asked the guys. I, I just said to them, "Is that you? Is that the best you can be?" And it was pretty much the same speech both halftimes. It said, "Is that the best you guys can be? If that is, then I have to do something different. If you can do something better, you better show it to me in these first four minutes." And Lucky for us, the kids responded in the first four minutes of each half, so hopefully the same thing. If if we're faced with things like that, the kids have been responding, so hopefully, you know, they keep that up. And, you know, I always said, and Steve will verify this, I've always said the first two or three minutes of the second half determines how you're going to play the rest of that game. I think so. I mean, I think every quarter could be looked at like that. The first, when you come out of that, that uh, timeout between quarters or between halves, those first two minutes really set the tone for everything. So um, hopefully we can do that a little bit better at the start of the game and not wait until halftime today. Uh, Lakeland has two outstanding players in Kyle Keyhart, second in the league in scoring with 17-point average, and Eric Grabowski with about a 12-point average. Both are over 1,000 points. What are your plans to try to counteract this scoring duo? It's a team effort. We do play man-to-man, -man, but I think our team has learned that man-to-man -man doesn't mean one guy guarding one guy. It's all five guys' jobs to be there and help, uh, to communicate with each other, ball screens, things that Lakeland does really well. Um, as long as our guys are playing five on five, we should be able to do our jobs. Well, thank you. Have a good one today. Thank you very much. And when we return, we'll have a look at your starting lineups and the tip-off of today's Lackawanna League Division III basketball matchup between Lakeland and Carbondale when we return on Adams Cable High School Basketball. 
You're ready for the big game, but how about your car? As you travel through downtown Carbondale, look for the classic yellow, blue, and red Sunoco sign. Drive in and fill up with the fuel of choice from Main Street Sunoco and get the finest performance from your car. At Main Street Sunoco in Carbondale, prompt courteous service is always assured. Congratulations to our local athletes and coaches for their hard work and dedication from the staff and management of Main Street Sunoco in Carbondale. Now here are your starting lineups for today's game brought to you by Roselle Department Store in Carbondale where the great winter clearance sale is now underway. Shop at Roselle and save up to 40% on all remaining winter merchandise to make way for new spring arrivals. Roselle now offers fast, reliable laundry and dry cleaning service along with school uniforms for Carbondale area, Forest City, Lakeland, LaSalle Academy, Holy Cross, and Valley View. If you're planning a spring wedding or going to the prom, Roselle has the latest styles and formal wear by Sarno and Son with a perfect fit every time. Sam and the staff at Roselle Department Store in Carbondale are proud to present the starting lineups for today's ball game between the Lakeland Chiefs and the Carbondale Area Chargers. Now your starting five for Lakeland, coached by Dave Rosencrantz. At guard, it is the six-foot senior Eric Grabowski, averaging 13 a ball game. At forward, the 5'11 junior A.J. Warmoth. Also at forward, the six-foot senior Tyler Brady averaging 10 a ball game. At guard, the six-foot senior Kyle Keyhart. He's averaging 19 a ball game. And getting the start at guard, it's the 5'11 freshman Tony Harding. He is averaging four points a ball game and shooting at 39% from the free throw line. Now as we continue along with your Roselle Department Store starting lineups, your starting five for the Carbondale Area Chargers. At guard, the six-foot senior, Joe Gelati. Also at guard, the six-foot-two junior, Jason Martin, averaging eight points a ball game. Isaiah McCord lines up at forward, a six-foot-one junior, averaging 14 points a ball game. Also at forward, Michael Farrell, a six-foot-two senior, averaging five per ball game. And at center today for Carbondale Area, Bailey Hughes, a six foot one senior averaging six points a ball game. So the stage is set for today's ball game, Glenn, Carbondale area and Lakeland. Well, I think you're going to see Steve, uh, Lakeland hit uh, Carbondale with a lot of full court pressure and Carbondale's the big key for Carbondale is can they handle it without, without turning the ball over. And now to honor America, the playing of our national anthem here at the Pete Taronis gym in Carbondale. Time for basketball here at the Pete Taronis Gym alongside Glenn Muskowski and Nick Homick. Steve Young here. Glad you're with us on this Saturday afternoon. Glenn, you have to love these matinee games. <laughs> well, you know, it is. It, it's, it's, a, it's a great time to play. Uh, you, if, unless you're a, a college basketball uh, crony and you'd like to stay, stay home and watch all the basketball games for the college games, there's some beauties on all the time. But I like it on Saturday. This is perfect. Then you can go about your business, do what you need to do for the rest of the day. Players, coaches, announcers. Everyone. Everyone, exactly. 
Well, here we go with the opening tip-off here at the Pete Taronis Gym. Jason Martin at the center court circle. And there's the tip, and uh, Lakeland goes after it. Grabowski had his momentum take him out of bounds. And Carbondale area will inbound the basketball and bring it the length of the court. And here comes the full court pressure as we suspected. Isaiah McCord and Martin will work the ball across midcourt. And the Chargers have no difficulty breaking the press. As Martin will work it on the right wing. Farrell off the drive in a lot of traffic will kick it back outside. And this time Farrell will take it to the basket, had it rejected underneath. And coming the other way, here come the Chiefs. And uh, throwing the ball away was Tyler Brady. Got a little bit tied up along the baseline, and uh, Lakeland turns it over. There you go, Steve. Sometimes you go a little too far. If you're going to go that far, go right to the basket. There's, there's not much you can do if you stop your dribble underneath there. McCord and Farrell to set it up. Gelati, Martin, Isaiah McCord from downtown. And Carbondale has an early 3-0 lead. Now Eric Grabowski, six-foot senior, who uh, scored his 1,000th career point in the fourth quarter in the 73-57 win against Blue Ridge, will set it up, along with Kyle Keyhart. Grabowski on that left side, and Keyhart looking for a screen, and he'll have to work his way out near center court where he's double-teamed. Get the ball to warm it, and this is Grabowski missing off the open look. Harding puts it back up on the reverse layup. Didn't get it to fall. Here comes McCord in transition on the break. One on two, and he draws the foul. So Carbondale up 3-0, and Isaiah McCord taking the ball to the hoop. And the six-foot-one junior, who averages 14 points a ball game, is on the stripe, shooting at 75%. Carbondale is a team shooting at 57%. And it's 4-0, the Chargers. Not the type of uh, start Dave Rosencrantz was hoping for, Glenn. Uh, absolutely not, Steve. Couple turnovers and a couple missed easy shots, so you know, that's. but it's early. And two in a row for McCord gives Carbondale a 5-0 lead and an official timeout as the uh, referee goes. will set it up. Didn't want to chase the ball down the court, I guess. <laughs> And uh, now Carbondale's in there man-to-man, -man, overplay. Tony Harding, a 5'11 freshman guard, had the ball knocked away. And Harding will inbound the basketball. And they get it into Grabowski, who joined Kyle Keyhart in that 1,000-point club at Lakeland. Watch this match up here, right here. McCord against Keyhart. See if McCord can keep without fouling. Here's Keyhart right to the basket, lays it up. And the follow-up is good by Harding. And Lakeland is on the board with 6.04 to play here in the first quarter, trailing 5-2. And Carbondale continues to face pressure. Martin has to get it across midcourt. Now you got to attack does. the basket. And here's McCord with a body-twisting oh. shot. And Isaiah McCord is on fire here in the first quarter, and the Chargers lead 7-2. Tony Harding gives it up to Keyhart. And Lakeland will go to work in its half-court offense. Five and a half to play here in the first quarter. Glad you're with us here on Adams Cable High School Basketball. And the putback is up and good by Tyler Brady. Brady averaging 10 for Lakeland this year. Narrows the deficit to three points as the Chiefs trail seven to four. Joe Gelati oh, saw an open it. look oh, and you couldn't gotta go. pull the trigger. You gotta go. Isaiah McCord. Covered like a blanket, Joe Gelati looks inside. Here's Hughes from in the lane, didn't get the bounce. Ball's rebounded by Harling of Lakeland. Out to Keyhart. Keyhart cut off by the Charger defense, now off the drive, called for traveling. And Lakeland turns it over. You could hear Dave Rosencrantz saying there were four guys open. Sometimes there is when you dribble too much. Everybody just stands around and watches you. Seven to four, the Chargers. Martin to McCord. And boy, Isaiah out of bounds. Yeah. Tried to make a great catch in front of the scorer's table. 
And uh, yeah. Dave Rosenkrantz made a great catch to <laughs> save McCord from going into the scores table in the Lakeland you bench. Know, you can't blame Isaiah McCord for that. That, that was it's his turnover because he stepped out of bounds with it, but the pass was just way out of line. Tyler Brady and the outside shot by Grabowski for three. And we're tied at seven, Lakeland and Carbondale. The Chargers are averaging 40 points a ball game while allowing 52. Lakeland is averaging 56 oh, offensively. One. And Carbondale turns it over while allowing 60. And Brady in transition to Grabowski from downtown. This one is out of bounds. Well, you wonder sometimes, 90% of the times the ball bounces up, but how does that ball end up sometimes? up and over the, the bank board. It it's just the way mind. the ball bounces, and <laughs> yeah. Grabowski steals the inbound, and I believe McCord will get whistled for the personal foul. 7-7 ball game with 4-11 remaining here in the first quarter, and the first personal foul on Isaiah McCord. And Lakeland on the inbound, having trouble getting the ball in play. And for Lakeland, Brady will set it up as he flips it to Keyhart. Grabowski and Tony Harding. Keyhart, nice fake. Off the drive, gives it up underneath. Bucket is good by T Brady and the foul. Jason Martin called for his first personal foul. Team's second. Tyler Brady, six foot senior on the stripe for <laughs> Lakeland. He is a 70% free throw shooter and averages 10 points a ball game. Well, that was good passing inside, Glenn, as Lakeland has a 9 7 lead, and uh, off the miss, it is used with the rebound for the Chargers. As McCord will loop a pass to Gelati, into Bailey Hughes, into Tom Owens, who fires up the shot. It won't fall. And Got his own rebound and draws the foul. A.J. Warmoth will be called for the personal foul for the Chiefs. That's his first and the team's second. Tom Owens on the stripe, a six foot three senior. This year from the charity line, he is 0 for 3. Free throw by Owens is good. And it's a one point ball game, 9-8. I think it's going to be key that uh, Carbonell gets on that uh, gets on that uh, on the glass a little bit on both ends of the court today if they want to be successful against Lakeland. Two in a row for Tom Owens and he ties the game at nine. Remember when his dad played? Oh for, gosh, uh, yeah. For, uh, uh, first he played for uh, I believe St. Rose and transferred to uh, Carbondale area. As the shot goes up by Grabowski and off the mark and Tom Owens comes up with a big rebound. Long down court pass intended. Yeah, on the fast break for the Chargers taking it to the basket. And it went out of bounds. They're lucky it was tipped by Lake and Carvin caught a break on that one. That wasn't a very good pass either. It was if even if he caught it, where was he going? He'd be out, almost out, out outside the other the outside the door of the gym. <laughs> Gelati on the inbound to McCord. And Carvindale almost lost it. Hughes open, misfires. And uh, battling for the oh, ball, A.J. Oh. Warmit. Then I believe we have a foul called against Lakeland. I think he stepped out of bounds. Okay, they turn it over. Boy, I saw an elbow <laughs> come up there, Glenn. I did, and, I uh, did. I thought it might have been a foul. Martin will inbound for the Chargers in a 9-9 deadlock with 3-10 to play here in the first quarter. Glad you're with us here on Ad Adams Cable High School Basketball. As Hughes will kick it back outside to Gelati. This time McCord works his way to the right wing. And Martin open from downtown. And the Chargers now lead 12 to 9. And that's that's the way to work the ball. Move the ball around the perimeter. Get that uh, that zone moving and then uh, look, look for the shot. And Tyler Brady. Keyhart, 15-footer. Way off the mark. And Martin collects the carom. And Gelati will bring ball across the midcourt stripe for the Chargers. McCord back out to Gelati with two and a half to play here in the first. Step in the gaps, there's the shot. Martin with an open look, knocks that down, another three. And Jason Martin with a three ball, and the Chargers lead it 15 to nine. 
Well, if you if you if they're playing a two front zone, like a two three, or or you might call it a two one two, whatever whatever way you like it, uh, you've got to get in the gap, Steve. You got to be in the you got to get in the gap on the top of the circle and then the two sides. And when you penetrate a little bit, these two guys are going to come to this from the side. Then you can give it off to this guy who's open on either side. Lakeland will go to work with Brady, and he'll pull up with the jump shot off the mark and McCord rebounds for the Chargers. Isaiah McCord. Owens and Martin back to Owens. Good oh, one two nice. combination and boy Tom Owens getting into the ball game scores and it's 17 to 9 and Owens has played well since he has come in off the bench. There's timeout I believe called by Lakeland with 142 to play in the first quarter and the Chargers lead it 17 to 9 here on Adams Cable High School Basketball. When your car does this. Call us first. Every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. That's the motto at Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale. In an accident, remember, it is your car and your choice to choose your repair center. Call Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale, well known for integrity, safety, and craftsmanship. For more information concerning your rights and the 10 things you need to know before having your car repaired, go to their website, bestinsautobody.com. Good luck to all area teams. From Tony, Mike, Jeff, and the staff at Bestins Auto Body and Collision Center, Gordon Avenue, Carbondale. Now back to the gym for more Adams Cable High School basketball. 142 remaining here in the first quarter, and Carbondale has a 17-9 lead over Lakeland. And Lakeland will inbound the basketball as Keyhart works it into Colby Kloss Walton. And from the left corner, Keyhart misfires on a long three. And it's McCord to work the ball across midcourt for Carbondale. McCord pulls up with the shot and nails it. McCord red hot from the floor, and the Charger lead is now 19 to 9. And Lakeland will go to work, and a good job by Martin going after the ball. And bounced it off of Tony Harden, and the Chargers will have the possession near midcourt. In that first half game, that Lakeland won by five, 65-60. Three players in double figures for the Chiefs. Keyhart with 22, Grabowski had 17, and Brady had 16. Brady was also six of eight from the charity strike. Yeah, that's their, that's, they're three uh, mainstays for Lakeland. Loose ball and Harding picks it up. And Martin intercepts the pass and then throws it into the hands of Harding. And the freshman dishes off to Tyler Brady and he takes it to the basket with a scoop shot and scores. Tyler Brady makes it 19 to 11. As we have under one minute remaining in the first quarter. Looks like they're gonna try to hold this ball now. They'll Joe will dribble to the side. Somebody will come back, come up on the point. Here comes Martin. Now he'll kill some time out there himself. He'll dribble to the other side, and McCord should pop out now if he, when he once he penetrates. Now there it is. So Glenn, with 21, when do you really start to think about taking the ball to the basket? When it just gets under 10. Gelati on the right side in a lot of traffic. Ten now, seconds. right now. Now Martin. Hemmed in, eight seconds on the clock. We'll give it to McCord. McCord will have to force it up, and it's an air ball. One second on the clock, and from midcourt, the shot is off the mark by Grabowski, and that will bring an end to the first quarter of play here at the Pizzeronis Gym in Carbondale as the Chargers lead the Chiefs 19-11 to here on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Here's great news from Figlamini Drugstore in Carbondale that can save you money and make shopping for your prescriptions more convenient. Figlamini now has an 895 generic drug plan and free local delivery. Figlamini offers diabetic shoes, lift chairs, and home health supplies. Locally owned and trusted since 1929. That's what sets Figlamini apart from the chains. Stop in and see the difference for yourself at Figlamini Drugstore in Carbondale, where you're not just a number, you're family. Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. 
For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. Now, back to more action with Glenn and Steve on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Opening moments of the second quarter of play, Lakeland going to work with the basketball as Brady will pull up with a baseline jumper, and it won't fall, and uh, the rebound goes to Josh Natale. He'll kick it back outside to Grabowski, and Lakeland will reset the offense. Trailing 19 to 11. Natale, head fake, and Brady. Underneath the basket, looking for A.J. Mormont. They lose it. Fast break is on. Martin with the bucket. 21 to 11, Carbondale area. Now the Chiefs with Grabowski and Natale. Josh Natale, 5'9", sophomore. Tyler Brady almost twirls it away and does. Joe Gelati intercepts it. Michael Farrell, little runner, no. Took a step in the lane. Got out of sync coming down the well, lane, Glenn, and turned it over. Well, you, you get that ball on the wrong foot, you're in trouble. The only thing you can do, if you can get control of it, is to, to get a dribble and dribble it back out because that is a tough thing to get, catch the ball on the wrong foot when you're on the wrong foot. Then you, everything you've been taught doesn't work. <laughs> Harding gives it up, and this is Keyhart. Off the drive and jump ball. And Carbondale will have the possession. Up oh, here comes here comes the full court press again. Now Carbondale's got to be patient. Farrell and Martin. Now go with it. And this is McCord. Wide open look at the basket. Uh, he a little bit set, too heavy. He wasn't set on that. He took that like a running one-hander where he had an opportunity to jump stop and take a nice easy jump shot. From the outside, Tony Harding knocks down a shot and it's 21-13. Harding. 5'11", freshman, shoots at 39% uh, from three-point land. Here is McCord taking it to the hoop. A little bit too heavy. Hughes getting tangled up and under the basket along well, with A.J. Warren. That is a tough call. That is a tough, tough call. When you're knocked on the ground and a person trips over you, what, what, what can you do? You're there. I mean, you trip. What are you going to do? If he tackles him, it's a different story. But he tripped over him. He didn't do anything. First personal uh, foul on A.J. <laughs> Warmoth and the uh, third team foul. Joe Gelati will put the ball in play for Carbondale area. Inbound pass goes oh. to McCord, and he draws the foul under the basket. That will send Isaiah McCord to the stripe. Tyler Brady will get set to check back into the Lakeland lineup. Second personal foul on A.J. Warmoth and the fourth that's, team foul. That's Warmoth's third, I think, Steve. There it is, yeah, the third personal foul on Warmoth. And that will play Isaiah McCord, six foot one junior on the stripe, 75% free throw shooter, and nails the free throw to make it 22 to 13. And Kyle Keyhart will check out. Or no, he won't. He'll come over and have a word with uh, Dave Rosencrantz as Isaiah McCord will have another free throw shot on the way and knocks it down. Lakeland lead is 10, 23-13. As the Chiefs will go to work. Nope. With Keyhart driving, going up with the shot, and in the paint, he draws the foul. Joe Gelati whistled for the personal foul. That'd be his first. Kyle Keyhart is a 69% free throw shooter and did not get the roll on this one. Averaging 19 a ball game. Keyhart uh, struggled with the shoulder injury early in the season. Misses two. McCord with the rebound. Two minutes gone by here in the second quarter. Gelati on the left wing will right, now, bring it back in their zone, get in somebody on the high post. There you go. 1-3-1 one, one set would be perfect here against the 2-1-2. Two, two. You're in the gaps. Move the basketball. There you go. Get somebody on the wing. Gelati 
Looks over to head coach Landon Gabriel for the offensive instructions. And Gelati had the ball tipped by Josh Natale, and inside they go to Martin, and Carbondale leads it 25-13. Lakeland, a little bit out of control. Far McCord has it for Carbondale area, wants to take it coast to mo coast. One on three, misses, and Gelati outside to Martin for a long three, misfires, and Lakeland comes up with it. Grabowski to Brady, back on the fast break. This is Keyhart missing. Brady back up with the shot and draws the foul. Now it seems like Lakeland just cannot buy a basket yep. at this point. They have they they haven't been a, they haven't bought a basket in a while and uh, and you could tell because Kyle Keyhart is still scoreless this game and that's very unusual. Tyler Brady is on the stripe for Lakeland, averaging 10 points a ball game, and it is Lakeland now trailing 25-13. 5.07 to play here in first half action at the P. Tironis gym. Second shot rims out. McCord has it for the Chargers. And Isaiah McCord and Joe Gelati. Gelati will be the playmaker for the Chargers as he sets it up. Gelati with a left hand and McCord now in the corner. To Bailey Hughes up with the shot rejected underneath. Farrell with the rebound and the putback didn't get it to fall as it was rejected. Tony Harding going to Tyler Brady with an open look and knocks down a two pointer. 25 16. As Lakeland answers with a basket. Now the Chargers will go to work as Gelati will set it up. Martin thought about a three. Farrell puts on the brakes, finds Martin. Open. Shot is off the mark. Keyhart with the rebound. Down to Brady on the fast break. Takes it to the hoop. Farrell with good defense. Here's Martin wanting to go coast to coast and draws the foul. You know, Carbondale's playing pretty smart this game. They're, they're, they're t walking the ball up the floor, but when they have the opportunity to run, they run the floor, they're running the floor with, with some effectiveness. Tony Harding called for the, his first personal foul, team's fifth. Jason Martin shooting at 48% on the stripe. And the Charger lead is now 10, 26 to 16. 3.57 to play here in the first half. And Martin will have one more free throw toss coming. Patrick Kloss Walton in the ball game for Lakeland. 27 to 16, your score. As Keyhart will save it. No, throws it into the hands of Martin. Here comes Martin on the break. What a <laughs> shot by Martin, and it rolls off the iron. Here's the call. Personal foul on Patrick Kloss Walton, his first, team's sixth. Gelati on the inbound for the Chargers to use a little spin move. He got, oh, oh, Hughes got hit in the face, and he's injured. I don't know if the uh, referees even know it. Bailey Hughes still back behind the midcourt stripe as Lakeland goes up with the shot with Tyler Brady. Referees didn't see it. I think uh, Bailey Hughes got uh, well, he got hit. whacked. He, he got just, whacked he in the right the ball, eye. Just threw the ball up in the air, obviously. Personal foul is called on Jason Martin of Carbondale. His second, team's fifth. And Tyler Brady, Glenn back on the free throw line for Lakeland. Well, uh, he's he's banging the boards pretty well today for Lakeland, keeping them uh, in the game here a little bit. But uh, uh, they just don't seem to have this the get up here yet. This L Lakeland team so far, La uh, Carbondale's right now is, is really taking it to them. Well, Lakeland uh, really not. Uh, they don't seem to be running on all cylinders right now. As nope. uh, Brady hit the second shot, the lead is 10 for the Chargers, 27 to 17. 
Isaiah McCord wants to take the ball right to the basket and scores. 29-17. Sometimes you have to wonder, Glenn, if, uh, you know, last night you're scheduled to play, game is postponed, it affects different teams different oh, ways. Well, Steve. As Keyhart uh, on a drive to the basket oh, just fires Martin's, up a is shot. Is that Martin's third? Now yeah, we'll wait for the official word. Yes. No one. Two. Joe Gelati. Joe Gelati. Okay. But you have to wonder a lot of times well, how it affects different teams. It didn't seem to affect Carbondale at all, as they seem to be playing well. As uh, Kyle Keyhart. And, and that's Kyle Keyhart's first point of the game. With uh, 305 to play in the first half. Well, Steve, that's why on a Saturday when we used to have games on Saturday back in the day when I coached. Uh, I used to bring the kids in at 11 o'clock for just a walk through or shoot around so they could somewhat simulate uh, the school day instead of staying in bed and getting up at 2 or something or whatever they do. You know, you, just, you want to try to make it something similar to what they their daily their natural routine. natural routine. Sure. 29-18, yeah. Martin. Oh, now it's going to be an air ball. Keyhart has it for Lakeland. Grabowski. Gives it up to Tony Harding. Tony Harding with an open look. Misfires. Ball goes off the hands of uh, Lakeland. And Klaus Walton oh. as uh, McCord goes to the hoop. Stop and the ball. misses. Now this will Good be an outside right shot for, uh, by Grabowski. And he misses. Harding has it. Goes up. And it was rejected. Harding wanted a foul, it's not there, and Isaiah McCord with just about two minutes remaining here in the first half, and Carbondale up 29-18 will uh, be a little bit patient coming across midcourt. Go and get the ball off of him, don't let him force the ball. He Tom Owens uh, just well. got rid of it in time as Martin will take control along with Joe Gelati. Michael Farrell. Tom Owens has to do something with it, and uh, we have a timeout call by Landon Gabriel with a minute and 38 seconds to play in the first half, and the Chargers on top of Lakeland 29-18 on Adams Cable High School Basketball. More than anything else, beautiful carpeting installed by Tom's Floor Shop in Childs will make your house a home. Pay a visit to Tom's Floor Shop and experience the feel of deep, rich luxury. The drama of radiant color and the timeless beauty, the comfort and durability of carpeting from Tom's Floor Shop in Childs. Tom's Floor Shop offers a large selection of linoleum, ceramic tile, exotic hardwood floors, and window treatments with attractive patterns and a truly amazing array of colors on display in their showroom. At Tom's Floor Shop, there is no sacrifice of style, quality, or performance. All roads lead to where great floors begin. Tom's Floor Shop, Main Street in Childs. Now back to the gym for more Adams Cable High School basketball. A minute and 38 seconds remain here in the first half of today's Lackawanna League Division Three basketball matchup between Lakeland and Carbondale and the Chargers on top 29 to 18. McCord with the shot off the inbound, misses, and Lakeland has the rebound as Patrick Kloss Walton comes up with it. In transition, Tony Harding. Brady cut off on the drive. Patrick Kloss Walton out to Tony Harding and Kyle Keyhart and company. They'll continue to work it around the perimeter and from downtown, Grabowski misfires. Keyhart goes for the save, gets it to Brady. Ball was loose, and they'll work it back outside. Here is Keyhart with a fadeaway. Too heavy. Off the iron, Martin rebounds for the Chargers. Lakeland ice cold from the floor. And with 57 seconds to play in Carbondale, <laughs> up 29 to 18, Glenn. We'll see if uh, the Chargers. You've got to kill some time here. Waste some time. Don't, don't try to do anything crazy. The worst you can do is not get a shot, and they don't get a shot. Loose ball. Lakeland come up, come, almost came up with it as McCord with a great save. He'll take a look at head coach Landon Gabriel with 35 seconds to play. And McCord had his pocket picked by Grabowski. Grabowski on the break to Brady. The basket is good and the foul. You know, Carbonell got a little silly there with the basketball. They didn't protect it. They, they, they had it knocked away three times when they should be backing it out a little bit and just looking to kill some time so Clayton doesn't get an opportunity to score. Now you got a, uh, they have a chance to cut into that lead. 
Nine-point lead as the personal foul was called on Tom Owens with 26 seconds to play here in the first half. 29-21, Carbondale will inbound the basketball as Martin will look to put the ball in play. And McCord for work against Kyle Keyhart. That's a double. Easy. Here's Martin with 17 on the clock. McCord and Keyhart battling it out. Nice screen by Bailey Hughes. McCord with an open look. Didn't get the, didn't get the ball to drop. Shot it too and early. Brady it with five early. seconds on the clock. Here's Brady with a pull up. No good, and that will bring an end to the first half. Here at the Pete Taronis Gym in Carbondale in today's Lackawanna League Division III basketball matchup with Carbondale leading Lakeland 29-21 here on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Homes, 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, Carbondale, offer all types of funeral services. In your time of need, call 282-1219 for the ultimate in professional services. Lawrence A. Gabriel and Lawrence A. Gabriel Jr. take this opportunity to send best wishes to our area teams. If you're planning a construction project, you can rely on Nick's Excavating and Construction of Carbondale. They specialize in residential and commercial excavating, paving and demolition, land clearing, foundations, driveways, sidewalks and utility lines. Nick's Excavating and Construction will deliver sand, stone, fill, topsoil and mulch. Nick's appreciates your business and looks forward to serving you with his quality workmanship. For your next project, call Nick's Excavating and Construction of Carbondale. When your car does this, call us first. Every job is perfect or it doesn't leave the shop. That's the motto at Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale. In an accident, remember, it is your car and your choice to choose your repair center. Call Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center in Carbondale, well known for integrity, safety, and craftsmanship. For more information concerning your rights and the 10 things you need to know before having your car repaired, go to their website, bestinsautobody.com. Good luck to all area teams. From Tony, Mike, Jeff, and the staff at Bestins Auto Body and Collision Center, Gordon Avenue, Carbondale. You're ready for the big game, but how about your car? As you travel through downtown Carbondale, look for the classic yellow, blue, and red Sunoco sign. Drive in and fill up with the fuel of choice from Main Street Sunoco and get the finest performance from your car. At Main Street Sunoco in Carbondale, prompt courteous service is always assured. Congratulations to our local athletes and coaches for their hard work and dedication from the staff and management of Main Street Sunoco in Carbondale. Now, more high school basketball courtside with Glenn and Steve here on Channel 7. Welcome back to the Pete Taronis Gym in Carbondale where we are just about set for third quarter action between Lakeland and Carbondale area as the Chargers lead it by the score of 29 to 21. Glenn, while we have the opportunity, big thanks to the Carbondale area school district and of course, athletic director Eric Larson always gives us a great setup. Very, very great to work with. Thanks for all of his help for uh, getting the broadcast on the air all season long here in the gym. Well, they just do a fine job, and it, it was a pleasure to come into this gym this year with the uh, with the remodeling, the the new floor, the surface resurfacing of the floor, and the painting of the ceiling, and the sound system, and everything. Everything was just just a, a top notch here this year, and uh, hope they continue to keep improving the school. Of course, I haven't really got a chance to really take a good look at the at the the school itself. The the academic side of it, but it's they say it's pretty special. Oh, it really looks good. I did have an opportunity uh, a little bit earlier in the uh, year to uh, be in the school, and uh, boy, it looks fantastic. Great job. All of the uh, classrooms are right up to date, and uh, also while I have an opportunity, thanks to the maintenance department here at Carbondale Area High School for all of their help uh, with everything getting the games on the air this season. Well, they, they, they do a nice job, and I tell you, they, probably, they were probably here real early this morning to get that parking lot spotless outside today, so that was perfect. 
Great job, guys, as Tyler Brady will put the ball in play for Lakeland, and we are underway with the third quarter here at the Pete Taronis Gym as Keyhart will set it up. Keyhart double team and needs help. Brady and company and Harding to set it up. Dave Rosencrantz, uh, I think he wanted some more movement or a well, cut to I the basket, he, I think and he's it didn't happen. to get the ball into A.J. Warmoth. He was, he was posting uh, Bailey Hughes up, but that's no easy task. Bailey's a pretty tough kid. Here is Tyler Brady opening up the third quarter, scoring with a bucket, and it's 29-23. <laughs> and that's what Lakeland needed to start the second half up. So Joe Gelotti with a right-hand dribble will work the basketball. And Martin outside, Gelotti with a 15-footer. That rims out. Bailey Hughes going for the save. Hughes hit the deck, bounced it off of A.J. Warmoth. That was a good, good rebound by Hughes. Boy, Hughes had his momentum taking him out of bounds, and that was just uh, senior leadership right there, Glenn, knowing yeah. what to do in the situation. Well, it, you don't want to get hit with that, with that no, thing. No, no. As Martin will bounce pass it to Hughes. A little ah. bit too heavy. Warmoth with the rebound. Grabowski for Lakeland, trailing 29-23. Pull-up jump shot off the mark by Keyhard. Gelati with the rebound. So Lakeland continues to sh uh, struggle in their shooting from the floor here in the third quarter. And Gelati threw the ball one way. McCord made a cut to the basket. Yeah, Some miscommunication, and the Chargers turn it over. That's tough because, you know, playing long enough, you should you have an idea where people are going, but sometimes it just doesn't work, uh, work out for you. Eric Grabowski to Keyhart. Keyhart double team over to Warmoth. Inside, underneath the basket, Brady, basket's good. And the foul. Boy, Tyler Brady, how he made that shot, Glenn, I don't know. He had players draped all around him. And uh, it's a 29-25 ball game, and Brady is on the stripe. And that's Gelati's third foul. Uh, he's strong inside. And Brady converts. Uh, how many has he hit from the free throw line, Glenn Knight? One, two, three. Three for five, four for six. He is a good free throw shooter. 29-26 as Lakeland is right back in the ball game. McCord looks for help. Martin, and now Michael Farrell. McCord, little fake, had the ball stolen by Keyhart. Uncontested layup. And it's a one-point game, 29-28. Timeout is called by Landon Gabriel as the Charger lead is down to one on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Here's great news from Figlamini Drugstore in Carbondale that can save you money and make shopping for your prescriptions more convenient. Figlamini now has an 895 generic drug plan and free local delivery. Figlamini offers diabetic shoes, lift chairs, and home health supplies. Locally owned and trusted since 1929. That's what sets Figlamini apart from the chains. Stop in and see the difference for yourself at Figlamini Drugstore in Carbondale, where you're not just a number, you're family. Now, back to more action with Glenn and Steve on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Timeout was called by Landon Gabriel with six minutes and eight seconds to play here in the third quarter as Lakeland is on a 7-0 third quarter run. Well, you knew, you knew they were to, they couldn't uh, continue to play the way they were playing, and uh, it, they just up-tempoed a little bit of the defense and a uh, couple steals, and away they went. Uh, Brady's got five of the points. Uh, he has 18 points for the game so far, and he, he's, he's, he's doing a yeoman's job out there today. He's banging the boards, offensive rebounds, and putting the ball up strong. Well, Tyler Brady had 16 in that first half matchup between Lakeland and Carbondale up at Lakeland and was, as we mentioned, 6 for 8 from the free throw line. So now Joe Gelati will work the Carbondale offense as they are clinging to a two-point lead. Michael Farrell. And this is Martin with a 15-footer short. And Gelati with a good job to keep it going for the Chargers. Farrell with the left hand in traffic, takes it to the hoop, draws the foul. Went right to work against uh, A.J. Warmoth. But it, Tony Harding will get whistled for the personal foul. Second personal on Harding and the first team foul. <laughs> As Michael Farrell is on the stripe, a 50% free throw shooter. 
And this one is all net. 30 to 28. Now, Carbonell, you know, they, they can't get excited here. You know, they, they, they made, Lakeland made their run. Now, Carbonell's got to stop that and then and make a run of their own. Two in a row for Michael Farrell. 31 28 Chargers. Now, Grabowski will run the Lakeland offense with five and a half remaining in the third quarter. Underneath the bucket, Brady a little bit short on the shot. Lakeland will keep the possession. I Boy, think, that's a tough shot, Glenn, when you're <laughs> that close under the hoop. Well, I think it appeared to me, Steve, that he looked like he thought he was going to get hit, and he tried to just muscle it up, and he didn't have to. Brady this time, double team, misses, and the putback is good by Kyle Keyhart. Charger lead is down to 1, 31-30. So we have ourselves a real battle here at the Pizzeronis Gym as Joe Gelati puts on the brakes. Farrell wants to take it to the hoop, gives it up to Martin. Uh-oh, ball loose, and Martin will save it for the Chargers. And McCord thought about it. Now in the lane, lost it. Isaiah Long down court pass. Here's Keyhart for the bucket, and Lakeland has the lead, 32-31. Yep. Harding with the assist. You knew it was just a matter of time before Kyle Keyhart got to straighten out. And, and the easiest way to do that is, is to uh, get out there on the fast break. Chargers with Martin and Gelati now. Michael Farrell rejected under the hoop. Farrell put it up, had it knocked away. He's got to do some pump faking underneath there. He just goes right up into the defensive man and he, he gets it blocked a number of times. He's got to do a little pump fake, a little head fake, a little pump fake, get the guy off his feet, then go up. Gelati having trouble getting the ball in play. Martin from the right corner misfires. And it is Warmoth with the basketball. Down court they go. Keyhart back to Brady. Ball's tipped around. It's loose yet. Who wants it? And it is Farrell hitting the deck. Out to Martin. Isaiah McCord for three. This one is off the mark. And uh, battling for the ball was Martin. And there's a foul called on Lakeland. I believe it that, might be on Warmoth. And that could be his fourth. Yes, it is. Fourth personal foul on A.J. Warmoth. Colby Kloss Walton, six foot two senior, will check in, and A.J. Warmoth checks out of the Lakeland lineup with Lakeland leading 32 31. Gelati on the inbound. Gelati looking, Farrell open in the corner. Now McCord. Gelati with the left hand. Under four minutes to play, third quarter. So Carbondale area will go to work. And Dave Rosencrantz calling out the plays to his ball club. And Michael Farrell, baseline. Bailey Hughes in traffic, muscled up the shot, didn't get it to fall. There he goes again, bouncing the ball <laughs> off of another Lakeland player off of Colby Kloss Walton. And that, and that was all Right oh, here. Heart. Right from the heart. He re out rebounded the three guys from Lakeland that time. Gelati to put the ball in play. Looking, having trouble. Five second violation. They turn it over. Wow, he's got to give it to the first open man. You can't hold the ball like that. You got to get it to the first open man that you see. You don't expect to score off of those plays. They're nine out of ten times you don't. So you get the ball in, get it back out, and get it set up. Lakeland by one. 32-31 as the Chiefs go to work. And Keyhart bounce passing. Brady going up with the shot and a foul. <laughs> Bailey Hughes called for the personal foul. His first, team's second. And Tyler Brady found a home on that free throw line, Glenn. Makes it look easy. Well. 33-31. Uh, four for six, five for seven now. Well, he was six for eight in that first half game. Second one rims out, and Bailey Hughes collects it. <laughs> uh, invariably, you give him the, you, you get him on the, when, when we start talking about anybody, any one of them. Always happens as Carbondale throws it away. Fast break is on. Grabowski knocked away some good defense by Michael Farrell. 33-31 Lakeland 
And they will inbound the basketball. Now, it seems like it's just a reversal this this half. The Lakelands are up, up tempo a little bit, and uh, Carbondale's like a little little sloppy with the ball. Grabowski, six foot senior with a left hand dribble. Oh, it's off the turnaround. That's a great oh, move. Oh, what That's a shot. It. 35 31 off the basket by Eric Grabowski. Yeah, that's Lakeland. what I was saying. You see, little head fake, little shoulder shoulder fake, and uh, the Carbondale defender went up in the air and he was wide open inside the foul line. You can't get any better shot than that. Hughes to Farrell. Farrell off the turnaround, hacked under the basket. Michael Farrell will go to the charity stripe. Now that's the third personal foul on Tony Harding of Lakeland. And there's a timeout called by Dave Rosencrantz. 2.37 remaining third quarter. Lakeland on top, 35-31 on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Insurance is more than just a policy. It's knowing that you are properly covered to protect all the assets you have worked so hard to acquire over the years. For over 50 years, McGovern Insurance has fulfilled the needs and expectations of families and businesses in the greater Carbondale area. McGovern Insurance Agency specializes in auto, home, commercial, and life insurance. Call for a competitive quote and superior service at 282-1170. Your protection comes first at McGovern Insurance Agency, 26th Avenue, Carbondale. Now, more high school basketball courtside with Glenn and Steve here on Channel 7. Michael Farrell on the stripe for Carbondale shooting at 50%. And this one is just a little bit too heavy. It's off the mark. Farrell averaging five points of ball game, and the six foot two senior will have another free throw toss coming. And Carbondale now trails 35 32. Outscored 14 3 in this quarter so far. It's amazing, Glenn. We always talk about it, but uh, how quick the momentum can oh, change sure. in any sport. It doesn't really matter what it is, but uh, there's a loose ball as uh, Martin oh. <laughs> was giving chase, and uh, wow. Tony Harding hit the floor pretty hard. Martin called for the personal. Third That's, personal yep. foul on Martin. So Lakeland will inbound the basketball. Kyle Burrell checks into the Charger lineup. 5'10", sophomore guard. Do you say that, that Harding is a freshman for Lakeland? Yes, he is. 5'11", he's, freshman. He's, he's, he's doing a nice job out there. He's, sure is. He's he? doing the bulk of the bulwark for, for Lakeland today. Had four points in the first, first half. He had five rebounds. In the first half, so he's, he's he's playing hard. He's doing a nice job as as a as a underclassman. Well, talking a with uh, Dave Rosencrantz, he said he gives him a little bit of playing time in the JV game, but then uh, gets him all set for the varsity as Brady fires up a shot. Ball is loose, and Burrell comes up with it. Beautiful long down court pass to McCord off the spin move, and uh, a foul under the hoop. To wait, I believe it's on uh, Colby Kloss Walton, six foot two senior. His first personal, team's fourth. McCord to the stripe for the Chargers. And misses. Boy, that's unusual. Usually, uh, McCord yep. is like money in the bank. I think it was. Uh, he forced that a little bit. You know, how, how do you force a foul shot? I, I, I don't think he. He got a nice follow through on that. I think it came out of there like straight at the basket. Colby Claus Walton checks out. Patrick Claus Walton checks in as McCord hits the second free throw, and it's a two point game as the Chargers now trail 35 33. Now Grabowski will work it to Keyhart, looking to dish off, and he does, and the bucket is good by Patrick Claus Walton, and it's 37 33. Keyhart could have taken that no, shot, wide open. but he knew that. Uh, Patrick Claus Walton had the better shot, and it's 37 33. And that was a perfect, that was a nice pass. The cord posting up, and this will be Burl from downtown. That's out of bounds. Boy, that hit everything. Hit wow, the basket, think... hit the supporting conduits holding up the uh, backboard. <laughs> yep. 
It boggles my mind how they can bounce up there sometimes. And sometimes they, they just bounce and roll in. Sure. And there's a ball tipped away. Lakeland will keep it. Kyle Keyhart as we near one minute to play in the third quarter. Keyhart pulls up a little bit off the mark. And uh, Burl with the rebound. Fast break is on, but the ball is tipped by Grabowski. What a save. <laughs> Down they go. Ball is loose and a foul in the lane. Boy, that was a great save, Glenn. Wow, it was terrific. Yeah, and, and, he, and he had the whereabouts to, to turn and look and find the, the Lakeland player and get it to him. Some great athletic ability. As oh, he's a great athlete. Keyhart will put the play, ball in play, and Grabowski knocks it. Oh, almost knocked it down. It uh, kissed the glass, rimmed out. Lakeland will keep it with 58 seconds on the clock, third quarter. Grabowski along the left baseline. Keyhart, head fade. Brady, open look. Too short. Farrell with the rebound. Outlet pass. Isaiah McCord. 37-33, your score. Lakeland, Kyle Burrow, and Joel Gelati to set it up. Isaiah McCord, spin move. Boy, he draws a crowd. Yeah, As he's, uh, he's, he's, he's drawing everybody. Uh, in the Gelati. second half, he, he's having a difficult time getting free the second half. Joel Gelati puts on the brakes. Owens, baseline, Farrell, 24 on the clock, third quarter. Farrell out to Burrell. Farrell does a good job to save it for the Chargers. Uh, Gelati will keep it with 12 seconds. Gelati with an open look. Misfires. Ball is loose. Keyhart has it. Out they go with five seconds on the clock. Josh Natale, Brady at the buzzer. Got it! Tyler Brady with a shot at the buzzer. Makes it 40-33 to Lakeland here on Adams Cable High School Basketball. More than anything else, beautiful carpeting installed by Tom's Floor Shop in Childs will make your house a home. Pay a visit to Tom's Floor Shop and experience the feel of deep, rich luxury. The drama of radiant color and the timeless beauty, the comfort and durability of carpeting from Tom's Floor Shop in Childs. Tom's Floor Shop offers a large selection of linoleum, ceramic tile, exotic hardwood floors, and window treatments with attractive patterns and a truly amazing array of colors on display in their showroom. At Tom's Floor Shop, there is no sacrifice of style, quality, or performance. All roads lead to where great floors begin. Tom's Floor Shop, Main Street, in Child. Now, more high school basketball courtside with Glenn and Steve here on Channel 7. Well, Tyler Brady gives Lakeland a lot of momentum at the end of the third qu quarter with that three ball that he dropped on Carbondale. And the Lakeland Chiefs will open up the fourth quarter, leading the Chargers 40-33. to The Chargers really struggled in the third quarter, Glenn, as they were outscored 19-4. to Well, you want to see the classic come out, of the come out in the second half flat as a pancake. You saw it right there. <laughs> there, there, there was absolutely nothing going, no, no offensive no movement, nothing like they had in the first half. They were beat on the, they were beat on the boards. They were, they were beat down the floor. And now they've got to come, now they got to crawl back out of a seven-point deficit and see what they can do. Joe Gelati will open up the fourth quarter with the basketball for the Chargers. Bailey Hughes, 15-footer. Got it. Five-point ball game, 40 to 35. I don't even know if that ball really touched the net. It was so that, smooth, Glenn. That was, that was smooth shot. He, for a big guy, he's got a nice soft touch from around that foul line. Key Hart giving it up, and uh, Lakeland will throw it away. One too many passes under the yep. basket. Should have taken that shot for sure. Now well, let's see. Lakeland will keep it, actually. Wow. They'll keep the possession as Grabowski will inbound the basketball to Kyle Keyhart. Lakeland by five, 40 to 35. Here in the fourth quarter. Grabowski one-on-one -on -one against Gelati. Here's Keyhart off the drive. Bailey Hughes got a right hand up there. Well, he was Some off balance defense. that time. He's trying to go with, going to go to cross over and go with his go to the left, and he ran into two other defenders from Carbondale, and he really had nothing there. Keyhart on the inbound. Here's Grabowski and Brady to set it up. Brady off the drive, giving it up and a foul. Now he's out of control there. I, th I think that's a, I don't think that's a very good call. 
He's falling over the place and uh, all over the place, and uh, he, Bailey Hughes just happens to be there, and he bumps him. That, and I don't like that call. Bailey Hughes called for his second personal foul and the team's fourth. Lakeland with a five-point lead. And Keyhart off the drive. No basket. Before the shot. Right before Isaiah the shot. McCord. Whistled for the personal, his second, and the team's fifth. It appears that the Carmel just standing around on defense now, Steve, and they're not really getting to the basket to protect it. There you go. As, exactly right there. As Brady took the inbound pass and scores to make it 42-35. Brady, Bailey, uh, Brady's having the game of a lifetime here. He is playing outstanding. But he is playing hard. This is like a role reversal, Glenn. It was Carbondale playing well in the first yep. half. Now Lakeland exactly. playing well in the second. A little fade away by Hughes, no good. Long down court pass, Grabowski will drive, goes to the hoop, rejected underneath. Now it looked like Hughes got a paw on that one, Glenn knocked it away. Yeah, he, uh, Grabowski made a good move, but uh, there was no place to go around the basket. Grabowski to put the ball in play to Patrick Kloss Walton. Out they go to Kyle Keyhart for three. And it's 45 35. Lakeland. Just about two minutes gone by fourth quarter. The cord off a screen by too much, Hughes. Too much dribbling, too much dribbling around. Ball knocked away by Keyhart into the hands of Martin. The cord lost it. Back court violation. Chargers turn it over. Sloppy, too sloppy. Carbonell. Entirely different team coming out on the floor the second half. And right at the scores table, there's Kyle Keyhart to uh, inbound the basketball. Up by 10, 45-35. Grabowski to work the offense for Lakeland. Tyler Brady takes over. Nice screen by Brady. Gives Keyhart an opening. Rolling hook won't fall. Keyhart again. No good. Ball's loose. Gelati has it for the Chargers. On the run. Beautiful pass to Martin. Looking inside for Hughes and the basket. 45-37 as the Chargers answer. A.J. Warmoth getting set to check into the game for Lakeland. Carbonell's got to make a few stops here, get back into this game. But they can't get try to get it all at once. you got to just pound away. Tyler Brady, who has had an outstanding game for Lakeland, giving it up to Keyhart and over to Grabowski. Off the drive and the foul. Here's the call. Well, you could hear Landon Gabriel. <laughs> That's due to the fact that our uh, microphone is right down there at the scorer's table. And uh, Grabowski on the stripe, third personal foul on Bailey Hughes. And the shot rims out. A.J. Warmoth will check into the Lakeland lineup. Uh, Patrick Kloss Walton comes out. 45-37 your score with 5.08 remaining in the fourth. And Eric Grabowski with the second free throw for Lakeland, shooting at 60% this season as a team. And the score is 46-37 with Carbondale on the inbound. Now the clock will uh, become the big factor yep. soon, Glenn. Exactly, Steve. Carbondale's got to look, get, get some work done on the offensive end here. Move the basketball, look to free up some shots. As used, he'll fire the pass to Gelati. McCord, jump shot, got it. Isaiah McCord with an open look, and he scores as there's a timeout on the court. Lakeland leading 46-39 on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Homes, 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, Carbondale, offer all types of funeral services. In your time of need, call 282-1219 for the ultimate in professional services. Lawrence A. Gabriel and Lawrence A. Gabriel Jr. take this opportunity to send best wishes to our area teams.
Now, back to more action with Glenn and Steve on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Four minutes and 47 seconds remaining in the fourth, and Lakeland leads Carbondale 46-39. Chiefs will inbound the basketball, and they'll face pressure applied now by Carbondale. And it will be Keyhart going right to the basket and yeah. scores. You can't let that happen. He that took is, it coast to coast. That is absolutely too easy. If you're going to... 48-39, and from the outside, Burrow misses. Ball was loose. Martin had it. Harding came up with it, and there is wow. a traveling violation. I think Harding wanted the foul, and well, I, think uh, Dave, got, I think he should have gotten the foul. <laughs> took a hit, and uh, what was called for the traveling violation? Dave Rosencrantz not happy with the call, as Martin will inbound for the Chargers. Into Michael Farrell, nice bucket. He got position under the hoop and scores, and it's 48-41. Now Brady, cross court they go. It's a warm it. He misses. Follow up by Keyhart. Good as players hit the deck all over. That looked like a bunch of bowling pins going down, Glenn. Well, wow, there were players all over the floor. As Isaiah McCord scores on a body twisting shot. You can't. You're Carbonell. You can't play basket for basket, though. You can't do that. 50 to you're 43. You're going to run out of time as Grabowski was coming the other way, and the foul. Three times this half, this quarter, they got beat down the, the court after the timeout. Steve, that's, you can't let that happen. You're trying to make a run here. Third personal foul on Isaiah McCord. Seventh team foul for the Chargers. One and one as Grabowski is on the stripe for Lakeland. And the lead is eight points, 51-43. Still plenty of time for Carbondale, Glenn, yes. but you have to play smart. You have to play some defense. I mean, you're getting beat down the floor. You're getting beat on the board. You can't. They can't let that happen. You got. You got to just go after every loose ball, and you got to play. You got to get down the floor and play some defense. Joe Gelati, off the miss. Gelati with a left hand. Here's McCord. Nice move. 15 footer. A little bit off the mark. Brady with the rebound and foul. Brady got good position under the basket for that rebound. Uh-oh. That's his fourth. That's his fourth, yep. Well, right now, if you're Isaiah McCord, you have to play smart basketball with your fourth personal foul, eighth team foul. Brady back to the strike. <laughs> He's playing a great game today, Brady. I'm very, very impressed with his hustle and his, his uh, ability to hit the boards and score. The shot won't fall. It's off the mark yeah. and a reach in. And Brady commits the personal foul. Second personal on Tyler Brady, 15 foul. And Jason Martin on the inbound for Carbondale area with 344 to play in the fourth quarter. Glad you're with us here on Adams Cable High School basketball. Martin, a little bit out of control, takes it to the hoop, yeah. wouldn't fall. McCord on the follow-up. <laughs> Players battling for it. And a foul under the hoop. Now, A.J. Warmuck is fifth. out of the game with his fifth personal foul. Patrick Kloss Walton will check in as... Uh, Warmoth will take a seat on the bench for the evening, or the afternoon, I should say, Glenn. <laughs> Joe Gelati to put the ball in play with Carbondale trailing 51 to 43. Gelati to Martin. Martin lost it off the drive. Brady, long down court pass to Grabowski. Keyhard, pinpoint passing by Lakeland. Gives them a 10 point lead, 53 43. Nearing three minutes remaining in the fourth. Martin with an open look, misfires. Farrell with the putback and is fouled. And a technical foul also. Let's wait. Now you can hear the official telling you the uh, situation. And Michael Farrell 
personal foul was called on Patrick Kloss Walton and a technical foul on Tyler Brady. Well that should be four shots. Michael Farrell on the stripe for the Chargers. And Michael Farrell the six foot two senior averaging five points a ball game. With Carbondale down 53 43 with shot number two. All right, Carbondale has, a, has, a, has an opportunity to, to score against uh, uh, six or seven points here. Let's see what they come out with after, after this is all said and done. 53 44, McCord oh, to wow. shoot the technical. And uh, boy, that was that wasn't even unusual close. by Isaiah McCord because usually he is like money in the bank. Just like that. 53-45. So the Lakeland lead is down to eight points, and Carbondale will get the basketball at center court. So, Glenn, you really have to make yep. the most yep. of your opportunities sure. if you're Carbondale. Carbondale needs to score here. And if you're Lakeland, play some good defense. They need to score. Usually, I think, you know, you know what the big key in this this. Uh, Half was, I think, the big move that uh, the Coach Rosencrantz made. He put Keyhart on McCord, and, and Isaiah McCord is having a very difficult time trying to score against him. Martin for three, no good. Into Farrell, didn't get it, and it is Harding with a rebound for Lakeland. Freshman comes up with a big rebound. So with out of the seven points they could have gotten, they got only two, Steve. And there is and then Keyhart there, to the bucket. And there's Keyhart, and that's Keyhart's 17th point this half. 55-45. So it's all about adjustments sometimes, Glenn, as Carbondale throws it away. Gelati off the steal and the layup. Joe Gelati with great defense and the bucket. It's 55-47. Now Grabowski. He forced Grabowski out of bounds. Good defense uh, by Joe Gelati as Grabowski stepped out of bounds right in front of the Lakeland bench. Boy, Dave Rosencrantz pleading his case. Not happy with uh, Lakeland leading 55-47. He knows there's still plenty yeah, of time. Oh, yes. You know, yep. you can't let it slip away if you're Lakeland. And if you're Carbondale, you're beginning to gain some momentum. But the clock is the big factor right now as uh, they follow McCord. See, you, you, you don't want to foul because the clock is stopped and you're giving the, the other team an opportunity to score points when there's no clock running. So you, you, you and especially if you put McCord on the line, he's, for the most part, good free throw shooter. <laughs> Very good. Free he's throw the guy shooter. you want if you're Landon Gabriel and Carbondale. Here's Isaiah McCord for the Chargers. And Keyhart battling for the rebound with 156 remaining in fourth quarter action and the Chiefs leading 55-47. And Carbondale will have the possession. Patrick Kloss Walton checks out for Lakeland. And Kyle Burrow with the basketball to Isaiah McCord. McCord in the paint. Air ball, Gelati. Draws the foul. You could hear Dave yeah, Rosencrantz shouting, stop fouling. He's absolutely correct. No need to foul. You're, you're, Just uh, rebound. The clock is the big factor <laughs> for Carbondale. Sure. And uh, when you're fouling, you're giving uh, Carbondale all this time as uh, Joe Gelati is on the stripe for the Chargers. Wow. 55-47. These are big free throws. Glenn with his granddaughter, and there's Mrs. Muskowski. There's Ann. Second shot is good by Joe Gelato. 55-48. Here is Grabowski for Lakeland. No, right to the no. basket. 57-48. Those are the things that will, will, will cause the Landon Gabriel to lose his hair. Fortunately, he's a young man. <laughs> It's going to take a while, but if you keep playing like that, I mean, right? He dribbles the ball the length of the court, and nobody contests him all the way down, and he lays the ball up. 57-48. Lakeland, 128 to play, fourth quarter. 
And Dave Rosencrantz called a timeout with 125 to play. Fourth quarter, Lakeland on top, 57-48, here on Adams Cable High School Basketball. If you're planning a construction project, you can rely on Nick's Excavating and Construction of Carbondale. They specialize in residential and commercial excavating, paving and demolition, land clearing, foundations, driveways, sidewalks, and utility lines. Nick's Excavating and Construction will deliver sand, stone, fill, topsoil, and mulch. Nick's appreciates your business and looks forward to serving you with his quality workmanship. For your next project, call Nick's Excavating and Construction of Carbondale. Now, back to more action with Glenn and Steve on Adams Cable High School Basketball. Well, here in the fourth quarter, it has been a high-scoring affair as Lakeland has outscored the Chargers 17-15. to One minute and 25 seconds remaining. And Harding, the freshman, will inbound the basketball for Lakeland. They get it into Josh Natale. He'll give it to Harding. And now Grabowski will take control. Now, Glenn, if you're Lakeland, leading 57-48, do you even take it to the basket? Well, you do if it's open, but you're, you're going to have to try to get the ball. Uh, uh, you're going to try to kill some time here and just run the clock down. And there's a reach in by Kyle Burrell to stop the clock with a minute five to play, fourth quarter. Because, you know, a lot of times we've seen it this season, Glenn, where a team is up by ten points. They take the ball to the basket, take a poor shot, give the other yeah, team sure. an opportunity to exactly. come back. So Tony Harding is on the stripe. The 5'11 freshman shooting at 56%. Got the roll. 58-48. Lakeland. Well, how about the poise that Tony Harding has shown in this ball game? Oh, I, the I, I'm, I'm very impressed with the way, way he plays. He, he's very fundamentally sound, and he, and he plays really hard. He's rebounding. He's playing some good defense. Harding misses the second shot. Carbondale with McCord. Spin move on the wing. Under one minute to play. Gelati for three. Off the left side. 58-51. As Lakeland has the basketball and the lead. And this will be Josh Natale working his way out near center court and uh, fouled to stop the clock. You got to be careful with that. If you just grab the guy, they, they, you know, I, I don't see any reason why when you just go up and intentionally grab a person, the referees don't call an intentional foul. You got to go for the ball. You got to make at least an attempt for the basketball, and then, then you're fine. Josh Natale, 83% free throw shooter. Well, he was five for six, but uh, misses this one. Five nine sophomore for Lakeland with 43 seconds to play, and the Chiefs up 58-51. Tally misses two. Gelati across midcourt. Time the big factor now for the Chargers as Martin launches a shot. Gelati battling underneath. Martin had it, and this was Keyhart coming out of the pack with it, and he was fouled. So Dave Rosencrantz can breathe a little easier. Yeah, this, this, uh, these two foul shots. If he, if Kihar makes the, these two shots, uh, it's almost, uh, you know, it's never impossible. I should say that. I shouldn't say that, but uh, very unlikely. Third personal foul on Michael Farrell. Tenth team foul. Keyhart on the stripe for the Chiefs. Really had a great second half. Struggled in the first half. Uh, found his shot. Coming out of the locker room in the third quarter, Tyler Brady with an outstanding. Ball game here, start to finish for Lakeland. Second shot, no good. Martin with the rebound, 27 on the clock. McCord forces up the shot. Ball's loose, put back by Farrell, got the roll. 19 seconds to play as Lakeland leads at 59-53. We'll keep it right here, Glenn. Well, again, you, you, you never, you never, you're never out, but. Uh, you know, there has to be a steal or an immediate foul, and you have to hope that they miss and you score. It's, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's really two possessions now with two threes, if you can make them, but three traditional possessions. Thanks to all of our fine sponsors for making high school basketball 
possible here on Adams Cable by your Napa Auto Parts store, Tonkin Auto Supply in Carbondale, Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, Beston's Auto Body and Collision Center, by Main Street Sunoco of Carbondale, Figlamini Drug Store, locally owned and trusted since 1929, by your friends at McGovern Insurance Agency, Carbondale, Tom's Floor Shop, Main Street Childs, Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Homes with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, Carbondale, Nick's Excavating and Construction of Carbondale, and of course, your starting lineups brought to you again today by the Roselle Department Store of Carbondale. 59-53 with 19 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter. Tony Harding will inbound the basketball for Lakeland. You know, after the lousy first half Lakeland had, their big three have scored 34 of their points. Brady going to the basket in the second half. Followed by Michael Farrell. That's his fourth with 15 seconds to play. So Tyler Brady will go to uh, the free throw line. Glenn, boy, he's uh, found a home on that free throw line throughout well, this ball game. He's been there a lot. That's, well, that's, that's all hustle. And misses this shot. 59-53. Court is uh, back in as Jeff Arthur replaced him for just a moment. Offense defensive switch. He's got four fouls. 59 53, and uh, Brady misfires on the shot. Joe Gelati with 14 seconds gotta on the clock. Got to get a quick clock. one up. Got to get a quick one up. And this is Martin shooting. Timeout. Knocking down a three, and a timeout call by Landon Gabriel with seven seconds left. And the Lakeland lead now down to three points. <laughs> wow, you never know. Well, matinee game, Glenn. No better time to have overtime, right? <laughs> Why not, right? Why? Hey, Why? we have a lot of time this afternoon. <laughs> well, you know, if you're Lakeland, you're, you're looking to get the ball either into uh, Keyhart, Grabowski, or Brady's hands. And uh, if you're, of course, if you're Car Carbondale, no matter who gets the ball, you must immediately foul. Can't waste any time. Can't waste Seven any seconds time left. at all. And 59-56, your score. Lakeland leading it. So Carbondale, uh, not running on all cylinders throughout most of the second half, really has come to life right here. And we'll see if uh, Landon Gabriel can pull a rabbit out of his hat. And will Lakeland be able to hold on for a win here at the Pizzeronis Gym? Uh, I, I believe that Carbondale may have one more timeout left. This is unofficial. I'm not sure. But uh, if they do, you get a basket or a steal. Seven seconds to play in the fourth. 59-56 Lakeland. Tony Harding will inbound the basketball for the Chiefs. Oh, you can't turn your back to that guy because all he has to do is throw the ball off your back. And here's the inbound pass to Keyhart. Right. Arthur will commit the personal foul, and both teams will walk the length of the court. It's pretty well, tough. Let's check this. Yes, they will. Yeah, it's pretty tough if uh, for Carbondale to... to to pick and choose who you're going to foul because you don't have any time, and three out of the four out of the five players out there are pretty good foul shooters. Big free throws for Kyle Keyhart. The Lakeland lead is four points, 60 to 56. And a timeout call by Dave Rosencrantz with six seconds to play, and we'll keep it right here. So, for Carbondale and Lakeland, this one coming right down to the wire, Glenn. Yep. Good ball game. Uh, Carbondale owned the first half, and uh, Dave Rosencrantz made the adjustments as you talked about. The big adjustment was Kyle Keyhart uh, playing Isaiah McCord in the second half, and that was down. one of the keys. He shut him down pretty well. Uh, Isaiah only has two field goals made and two for six from the foul line this half, so his game went kind of kind of on the back burner there for a little bit because of the fact that the that Keyhart plays some very, very good solid defense against him. Six seconds remaining after the timeout by head coach Dave Rosencrantz and uh, Kyle Keyhart, the six foot senior on the stripe for the Lakeland Chiefs. Keyhart on the season shooting near 70%. Yep, the two big ones that you needed. 61-56. Lakeland, McCord with the ball. Five seconds left. McCord will pull up for three. And Harding with the rebound. That will do it. 
the Lakeland Chiefs defeat the Carbondale Area Chargers here this afternoon by the score of 61 to 56. Congratulations to Lakeland and head coach Dave Rosencrantz as they improve their overall record to eight wins and 12 losses. In second half play in Division Three, they are now one win and three losses for the Carbondale Area Chargers. Their overall mark falls to seven and 13. And in Division Three, they are now one win and three losses. So good luck to the Carbondale Area Chargers. Along the way, they still have two more games to go. One will be uh, here at uh, home. It will be against Dunmore on Wednesday the 13th, uh, coming up on February 11th. They will travel to Holy Cross. And for Lakeland, they have a couple more to go. They will take on Riverside at, uh, at home and then uh, be on the road to take on Old Ford. So good luck to both teams as uh, they move uh, on in uh, the final two games of the season. And for uh, Lakeland, they win it by the score of 51 to 56. Well, it, it was a complete reversal of, of, a, of a type of game that Carbondale played in the first half. They couldn't do anything wrong. They came out, a little adjustment defensively, I, which I think was a big adjustment on, on, on Dave Rosencrantz's play, uh, part to uh, put uh, Kyle Bray, uh Kyle Keyhart on uh, Isaiah McCord, and he shut him down pretty well in that second half. And then Lakeland just out hustled Carbondale both on the bat on the on the both ends of the court on the boards, and they beat them down the court too many times for too many easy layups. So it, and then the game just turned right around, and Carbondale just dug up too much of a hole for themselves, and they just couldn't come back. Made a gallant effort, but they just couldn't get back. And that is going to wrap it up for our final broadcast of the year here at the Pete Taronis Gym. We have one more to go. Uh, we will be back on Wednesday, February 13th at Forest City when the Foresters entertain the Mountain View Eagles. So for Glenn Muskoski and Nick Homick from Frankie Carl Productions, I'm Steve Young. Till next time, so long from the Pete Taronis Gym. Today's presentation of Adams Cable Channel 7 High School Basketball between the Lakeland Chiefs and the Carbondale Area Chargers was brought to you by Adams Cable Service, by your Napa Auto Parts store, Tonkin Auto Supply, Carbondale, Jerry's Tire and Auto Service, Carbondale, Veston's Auto Body and Collision Center, Carbondale, by Main Street Sunoco, Carbondale, Big Lamini Drugstore, Carbondale, locally owned and trusted since 1929. McGovern Insurance Agency, Carbondale. By Tom's Floor Shop, Main Street Childs. Lawrence A. Gabriel Funeral Homes, with locations at 74 North Main Street and 2 Hospital Street, Carbondale. Nick's Excavating and Construction, Carbondale. Your starting lineups are brought to you by Roselle Department Store, Carbondale. Join us again Wednesday, February 13th for the Adams Cable High School Basketball Season Finale between the Mountain View Eagles and the Forest City Foresters here on Channel 7.